Good morning. So this video is for off the beaten path general business ideas. So this is really going to be for the really, really small uh, self-employed people, uh, like one person. Um, it will not relate directly to um, other people where you have multiple vehicles, multiple employees, and so on and so forth. This is just strictly for one person, or you only have one vehicle um, that you're using uh, for transporting and so on and so forth. Um, if, of course, it's tax time. We all know this. Um, throughout the year, if you have been recording your mileage on your mileage logs and you need to calculate how much for your taxes, you know, if you've been doing this all along, you know how this works. Um, but there is a follow up to this, and I wanted to show this. I've mentioned it on Facebook before for other people, kind of as a way of saying, hey, you know, Google is always watching you. Um, and it is true, Google is always watching you, especially if you have a Google account plugged into your phone. Um, Google always watches you. And so the disadvantage is, is you're always being watched. The disadvantage, or the advantage is, you can use this to back up your travel log. So let me show you this. I just uh, received my annual notice from Google, said, hey, here's your travel logs. And, uh, I'm like, okay, so I looked at it for the year. It was like a whole bunch of places. So I just randomly picked a year. So, or I picked a date, I'm sorry. Uh, so this was back on February 7th, 2020. Um, and this is one of my more busier days. Um, and you can see Google keeps track of everywhere I went that day. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, we started off a computer garage. We went to the eye doctor. We went to Bellevue and then all the way up into Sandusky and all the way around, but overall, um, this tells you on any particular day where you have traveled to and then you can record the mileage accordingly and you can make notes in your specific um, log file here that Google keeps track for you. So yeah, I went to the eye doctor, which is a client, back to the office, went to uh, the law office of Brumball, back to the office, went to Sandusky Clean Scene, uh, went over to Park Place Shopping Plaza, which would be like... Sam's Club and Dollar General and stuff like that, Brainiacs, can't remember who's all there. Uh, back to Bellevue, um, and then back to H&R Trucking, uh, and then back to the shop. And you, it gives you times, time, you know, gives you the time that you got there, the time you traveled, and the distance. Now, this is going to be used, like I said, for backing up your driver's driving log. Um, and if you're not keeping one, um, for your taxes, you are supposed to, to back up your logs. Um, but this is a way of, oops, I forgot one or I forgot one for a particular day. Um, and this is how you can at least get an idea of what you did on that particular day. So, but yeah, um, your phone, if you got your Google account tied into it, it will keep track of your mileage. Um, you know, good or bad, right or wrong. <laughs> so, um, Oh, it was for a park place that was for Walmart. So yeah, good or bad, right or wrong. Um, if you feel comfortable with it or not, um, this is what it does. If you have a Google account tied onto your phone, uh, this works for personal also. Um, so again, um, it, if, if your personal phone and you've got a Google account tied to it, it'll do this. Uh, so it's kind of scary, um, but also kind of nice because if you're doing mileage, you can figure out stuff like this. So. But yeah, this was just, uh, like I said, a random day I picked uh, and I kind of previewed it before I used it in the video to make sure it wasn't any residential stuff because, you know, I hold residential stuff a little bit higher uh, in privacy, you know, where this was just, you know, going uh, from business to business to business on this particular day. So, but yeah, you can utilize your Google timeline, Google Maps timeline to calculate mileage. Uh, you could print them off if you really wanted to, that way you have a backup to your driving logs. Um, and it's just a, a way to keep track of all that stuff. Now, unfortunately, the year end stuff, if I did it for the year, so if I took that out, it would only give me, you know, where I've been through the year, it won't give me the mileage totals. That's a shame. Uh, so if you're gonna use this uh, as a way of tracking your mileage, you would have to go through 365 days or however, uh, to determine what your mileage was for the year. But like I said, it's a nice way to back up your driving logs that you've got. And like I said, these, this will only work for, you know, one person or an individual, or you've only got one company vehicle that you track, 
um, and the person who's using that vehicle is, you know, the primary uh, business owner, so you can keep track of this. Um, if you've got multiple vehicles, multiple employees, and you're driving everywhere else, this is not going to be a benefit to you. So at that point, you'd probably want to step up to something um, more designed for GPS tracking on your vehicles. And there are a couple of different companies um, in Ohio that do that. Basically, they just put a GPS tracker on the vehicle and um, then you can ping the vehicle at will and you get uh, daily, weekly, monthly, and probably yearly mileage reports. Um, and so, yeah, it's nice in that regards. But this is for, like I said, the individual, this, the self-employed individual or the micro or small business owner who just has one vehicle they have to worry about if you're using mileage. Uh, we use actual expenses, um, but you know, in years past we have used mileage when we had different vehicles. Um, so yeah, this is, like I said, it's a way to help you with your taxes. And I can't remember what the tax write-off is this year per mile, but it's well over 50 cents. So take it as you will. That's what you have accountants for to figure out this stuff. But <laughs> that's, like I said, it's what you give them, uh, give those accountants big monies for. So, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Something quick and simple. If you found this useful, like, share, and subscribe. If you have a Google account or a YouTube account, if not, you can find us over on Facebook in the video description below. There is a donation link. Please consider. Um, if you don't know how to do the like, share, and subscribe, because I think the like and share, um, you can actually do without a Google account below the video. Uh, and a little bit to the right, um, there's a thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Um, and then there's the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications and so on and so forth. So, but like I said, if not here, you could do it over there. Either way, um, but yeah, definitely share these uh, share these out uh, so people are aware of it. Um, I'm starting to get more and more followers on YouTube. That's good. Uh, Still got a long ways to go though, because I gotta have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of video view before video or YouTube will pay me for my videos. So gotta get those numbers up. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.